What's up my NSAFs? Welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be reacting to Dead End Paranormal Park Season 1 Episode 4, Night of the Living Kids. That actually sounds like it's gonna be quite terrifying, uh, so I'm looking forward to this one. Before we get into it, make sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and check me on my social media accounts where I post art and other cool stuff. If you'd like to check out the merch store or if you wanna gain early access uh, to full reactions, go ahead and click the Patreon link and the merch link down in the description. And now without any further ado, let's get into it. We start off with Inchi. Look at you inching your way. Looks like a hot dog. Oh god, there's two now. Wait, we're really not gonna talk about that? That there's two of those things now? Oh god, how many more times are they gonna multiply? I'm a little scared about that. Hey Patrick, happy birthday to the best little brother in the world. Aww. Sorry, no, you have a little sorry. brother? What's with the bag? It's only an overnight shift. Oh, just a few Pauline Phoenix horror movies. My favorite is the night hag. The night hag. Now which eye is your favorite? And I'll start with the other. Oh god, no. Yeah. Guys, wait for me! Wait for me! Pugsley just hauled ass! That looked so funny! What the hell was that? Look at him, look at him, look at him! I wanna know who animated that, that was freaking hilarious! Wait for me! Wait for me! Oh god, so what is this like a kids like a group of kids are gonna come stay over and they have to watch them I'd have given anything for a sleepover party at a dinosaur restaurant in a theme park. Ah, uh, gotcha. I'd have given anything to avoid that. This is gonna Fair be enough. Worse. How have they been? They ate loads of sugar, told ghost stories, and now they're pretending to be dinosaurs. <laughs> There's no chance they're gonna sleep. Great. Oh, great. Here and a gluten-free cupcake for Leo. He still might barf, but uh, just use those blankets. Oh, Aww. and you have to wear this. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, Norma's Ooh. not. Can I be the dinosaur? Can Can I, be wear? The dinosaur? Uh, I would wear it. Sure. I guess you got everything. See you in ten hours. They're out. Bye. Bye. Ten hours? Oh, there you are. Come That's on, a long ass shift. Happy birthday, Patrick. Hey, that kid looks a lot like you. He could be your brother. Oh my god. Barney? Wait a minute, his brother is having the party? Oh shit. What are you gonna say? This is this has now just become super complicated. That was my little brother. He cannot see me. Oh why? No, he can't. He took the blindfold off. No, I mean he can't see me. Uh wait, but why? Do they not know that you're there? Oh, is that what's I'm going on? Please. You recognize Patrick. Oh, yeah. Why won't you text back? Patrick, make a wish! Oh! I mean, just so tell bad. him! Freaking yeah, Norma. <laughs> That's boy. me. It's just a lady in makeup and a sheet. Um, actually, it's a hand-painted foam latex mask with a hog hair wig. Wow. Ew. Once you summon her and she's stolen your sleep, she'll turn you into the sleepless. <gasps> the sleepless. Frazzled. Slap. Watch that be true. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's summon that head. <laughs> Why? Why would you want to? I don't want to miss the monologue. Oh yeah, it's the best part. Uh, you know, I was in a bit found somebody to fangirl with. Wait, your play cool one nine six three? Was it you? You are wigs for days. <laughs> How are you the Phoenix fandom admin? You're like five. Hey, excuse you, I'm 11 next month. I'm 11, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> Anybody remember that audio? I do. Gargle oh, they water do. water for seven seconds and then sing Night Hag, Fright Hag, I summon thee into this wolf boat. Did you really just give them the way to do it? Night Hag, Fright Hag, I summon thee. Courtney, what did you do? Wow, I feel powerful. It's bedtime. Yeah, get your asses to sleep. But they did it already, didn't they? Thanks a lot, Court. Thanks a lot. You literally gave freaking summoning powers to children. Oh god, here we go. Oh, what okay, is happening? Here's what I need to know. I am Pauline. Phoenix is angry and quite athletic. Stunt double dishes the truth. Ooh, oh, flies away. It offends me. It offends me. Shit. What? I can't go oh. home, and and neither can I. 
and I miss Patrick and my little patch of dirt that used to be a flower bed that I reclaimed as my sunbathing spot. Oh, the trees never, come. never even considered that. Pugly, Pugly, Pugsley misses his home. Oh, I, wow, didn't even consider how Pugsley would feel about it. That's sad. Ugh, really? Is it thing? Oh my god. No, wait, don't, don't go to Patrick, wait. Oh, no, it's Yeah, exactly. Run, kid. Oh. Oh, shit, they're fast. Stay calm, sweetie. It's exactly what it looks like. Hey, you just... Jeez. She's just like... It's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Fucking Courtney, please stop trying to gouge out Pugsley's eyes, please. Really, this is like Jurassic Park? Stop! What is with these freaking Jurassic Park mentions? Oh. Whoa! Two, the revenge. Night these two, I love it. I love finding somebody who like totally obsesses over the same stuff as you. The best. Night Origins, Night they get it. What's wrong with them? They've had every night of sleep they've ever had sucked right out of them by the night hag. These kids have been awake for ten years straight, and they're pretty grindy. Good luck. So that's what happened. What are you doing here? Uh, About them. Wait, you still sleep with Mr. Max? <laughs> yeah, you gave him to me. Oh, that's so sweet. Stress. Happy birthday. <gasps> oh yeah, I talk now. Oh, and I also have magic powers. Uh, by the way, just quick update. How do we stop the night hag? That's my question. Norma, you you've seen the movie. How did the hero defeat these things? Mm -hmm. The night hag was actually way ahead of its time. The hero died in the second act. Oh, great. Poor kid. Ooh, you're gonna be missing some teeth after that one. Oh god. No! Not normal! Wait, no, really? No, not normal! Oh god, that's gonna be bad. Oh, please, ma'am. Why didn't you text back? I did? Mm -mm. Uh, I mean, I didn't. No, you didn't. Mm. You left me! No, no, never! I left everything. Oh. Mom and Dad say they accept me, but then at dinner with Grammy Graham, they, they just let her say all that awful stuff to me and acted like it wasn't even happening. Wow. I felt invisible. Oh. Mom will pick me up in the morning. Come home, Barney. Uh. Mm. I can't. Mm -mm. It's not that simple, kid. <laughs> oh, shit! Patrick? Please, not you two. Barney? Oh, great. Oh, shit. Mm. No, Barney's gone. Oh, no, not the stuffed animal, no! Oh. Oh, shit. Freaking ball pits. Most disgusting things ever. I loved them as a kid. Then you got older and found out what was in them. <laughs> Because you are, literally. Pugsley, maybe you can help though. You have powers, remember? Oh, whoa. Damn. What? She's still here? Oh, you guys are terrible at this. Anyway, bye. No, what? Why don't we use your magic? But, but, but I, I, I don't know how. I haven't finished. Mom, Pugsley. Also, Courtney, you're such a dick for just letting him all suffer. A day hag? Yeah, she's every bit as day as she is night. They'll cancel each other out. What? Now focus. I summon thee! Ah! Oh shit, Pugsley, becoming a summoner? How do I know if it <laughs> How do I know if it <laughs> 
Are you lovely? No? Yes? Oh, so. okay, but sure. Hello, everyone. So sweet of you to summon me. Cheryl? Linda. <laughs> uh, they know each other? You're not 3,000 years. I'm sorry, okay? It's not easy being the only day walker in a family of nocturnals. I can't stay up that late. Oh. I get fed. I wasn't happy in the grotto. I needed to find my own people. Oh, so that's a lesson Patrick has now just learned about Bar uh, Barney. I was going to say bad trick. <laughs> Barney. But I still missed my sister. Oh. And I've missed you. Night hags can have sisters? Who are you calling hags? Ooh. Wait, how do they get their sleep back? Oh. <sighs> what? Yeah, she took your sleep though. <laughs> Mm hmm You also did start everything, Court. Please, Barney. Just, just... Oh, oh shit. Patrick, my baby. Barney, I get why you left, but... Please say hi to Mom and Dad. No. So, did his brother show up? Uh... Oh, that's a shame. I thought he might. Maybe he... You know kids, though. He's done one of his little disappearing acts. <laughs> Uh, mm. maybe, uh, just invisible. <laughs> I know, right? Anywho, I'm glad Patrick got to have a day. Ooh, that was pretty heavy. I was gonna speak in between, but it was actually, like, a pretty deep moment. Um, wow. That was hard. That was impactful to watch. Um, anybody else feel that? Like, I felt that here, like, in the soul. Very well done for that moment, but also it's sad because Barney was gonna take it off, but he's like, no, not yet. Not ready yet. Everything and they're not ready just yet. Just have fun. Good, good. Uh, good. Don't, don't forget your goodie bag. It's got your birthday present. Did he fix up the... Oh, yay. Thank you. Sorry, sir. He's an affectionate kid. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with an affectionate child. Oh, that was so deep! Mom? Mm hmm I have to tell you something. Oh, Wait, are you gonna tell her? Don't do that! It's been fun, won't we'll miss ya, bye! <laughs> oh. 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 How do you get those off? Okay, but wait, so it's almost like the genie, remember from the Aladdin movie, the OG animated um, Aladdin movie? Genie had those gold cuffs which kept him prisoner to the lamp. So, same concept here, interesting. We'll get through this together. Can you get them off We her? can be friends. Mm. I'm sick of here, I'm sick of friends. <sighs> leave me alone. You're gonna grow to love them, watch, and then you're not gonna wanna leave. Don't, Pugsley, don't. Hey, Pugsley, I'm home. Oh, I thought Foxy was about to go! I thought Foxy was gonna go! I was like, please don't! Oh, shit! Okay, wow. That was a very, very good episode. I, like, at first it was just, like, a pretty good, like, decently scary, like, fucked up episode, but that last bit was very very impactful i think and i think it was done very well so uh kudos to the writers for that that was a very very nice moment um especially with touching on the whole um subject and struggles that um trans people deal with sometimes with their families you know it's unfortunate and it's hard so to be able to see that um especially depicted in an animation um you know that's that's pretty cool don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos go ahead and check me on my social media accounts where i post art and other cool stuff if you want to check out some cool merch i've got that link in the description and if you want to gain early access to full reactions go ahead and click the patreon link down below as well i thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll see you next time bye